Hello Englishers! Welcome back to my channel. This is Ma'am Raya. For today's lesson, we're going to provide an example work of a chapter 3 for our practical research one, which is um, research methodology. So, uh, from our theory, from our discussion about writing the research methodology, we provide the definition, uh, the words that we can um, use, like methods, methodology, the research design, okay, and all those other um, terms. So again, here, sample akong i-provide ha para at least um, na mo idea unsa dito ang mga theories nga itong discuss So not just about theories, no? Unsa on siya pag-apply. Um, Kani nga chapter 3 example, kay gikan siya sa study sa katong um, chain smokers on smoking cessation. So gikan sa pag addicted to smoking, then they opt to um, quit smoking da yun. Okay, sa ilhan chapter 3 here, as you notice, okay, imong isuwat, okay, unsa ana ang chapter 3. So, this is about methodology or research methodology. And as uh, also mentioned in the theory, okay, dapat inigsugod din mo sa imong chapter 3 na ahay gamay nga introduction. Okay, so sa imong introduction, mura siya overview unsa ang mabasa sa panel list or sa ubang nga mga future researchers sa methodology ni mo. Unsa ilang mabasahan. Okay, so here, example. This chapter shows the description of the research procedures. It provides information that concerns the methods for undertaking this research. This chapter, okay, here, okay, focus ko niya ho, okay, specify, kaninga chapter also describes the selection of the participants, the data collection, and the data analysis. Okay, so unsa ko no, ang da, unsa pa pwede ni mong mabasa, or imong mabasahan, there is a chapter 3. Okay, here is ang gipuno. The researchers decided okay, to conduct this study through qualitative research to satisfy the aim of the study. Moreover, a qualitative type of research is a process of obtaining data with the use of informal communication. So, gi explain sa niya, okay, nga nung mga researcher, kani ilahang gi igamit. Again, oh, qualitative man ito, ano? So, ano ara jud? Pwede jud na ang ina nga template. Okay, inyo na ilisan sa inyohang um, study nga gigamit ka ron. Okay, and then, start na rin kagsugod sa inyohang, okay, primero, okay, research design. Okay, there, um, ito ang gidiscuss sa theory, no, kaya nga research method. So, uh, an another method or another research design here is a kind of case study. And I guess, uh, uban sa inyo, no, kay uh, phenomenological ang gigamit, kay you always have like the lived experiences of those participants. Okay, so here, a case study lang gigamit was used in this qualitative study. Um, take note, okay, nga nagamit sila og past tense dere. So, dili lang ma-confuse. Kay actually, ang kaninga study, ilahan namang good ni, um, na defend namang good ni nila. And this is the final output. So, akong i-provide ni example. But in your case, nga nag-proposal or padung pa mo proposal, so usually what happens in a proposal, chapters 1 to 3, rajun na ang pangitaon. So, since it's proposal pa man, um, the best tense of the verb that you will be using is the future tense. Okay, so, instead of was, you will be uh, saying, a uh, phenomenological study, design, will be used in this qualitative study. Okay, ano siya ang style, ha? Huh? Okay, um, okay, experiences of chain smokers living in Barangay Banilad. So, dari pa lang sa research design, iyan ang gi-introduce ang iyang local o iyang location. Okay. Yeah, um, that successfully succeeded in smoking cessation. It showed steps in doing the survey such as uh, such area selection. So, nag-interview siya, nag-analyze sa data, okay, sa iyang gigather. So, this part focused on the procedures being followed upon conducting the research study from the selection of the study area to data analysis. This research design, okay, again, um, I hope you remembered sa ato ang discussion sa chapter 3, nga um, each sub, top, sub part, no, okay, muhatag ka og idea or you give reason nga nung mauni ang imong gi buhat or imong gigamit is according to, okay, for the research design, for example, so, imong gi-mention, yung sa nga imong gigamit nga design, niya, maghatag ka o definition, yung sa na ang research design nga imong gigamit, niya, after which, you reason out, you provide reason nga nung kaninga design imong gigamit. So, here, naasiyagi butanga, 
This research design is utilized for it is highly used to explore the in-depth experiences of chain smokers who successfully quit smoking. So see, iyang gihatag ang idea or in reason siya dere nga nung case study iyang gigamit. Okay, o ano nga nung mao nga research design iyang gigamit. Okay, after sa research design na siya research local. So this is primarily location. Asa ka magkuha sa mga mga participants. So, argit siya gamay nga one sentence nga introduction. And then, as a result, out of the 27 barangays in Mandawi City, okay, the inclusion of the respondents is limited to the area of Barangay Banilad. This sounds very familiar to you because maoni inyo hang gisawat sa inyo hang scope and delimitation. Naaman is inyong scope and delimitation, di ba? So, unsa inyong scope? O, unsa inyong delimitation? So the respondents will be interviewed in their homes or any other location that they choose. That they choose. Um, as for me, um, the respondents uh, were interviewed. Okay, uh, I know this is their final output, but since it's just a uh, Microsoft Word, maybe na change na you see, ano? So I believe um, sa ilahang PDF file ani. So it's always uh, past tense na ilang gigamit. Okay. Um, yeah, so Yang explained the researcher will be will collect data from five randomly selected chain smokers who have successfully um, quit smoking in Barangay Banilad. So nag focus ra sila sa Banilad niya. From there, nag pili ragan sila og lima. Then randomly, okay, yun sa nila pag pili, okay, randomly ra. Okay, so asa nila, so sila na ibahala to asa to nila gikuha, no? Okay, so here, gigamit niya face-to-face -face interviews, open-ended questionnaires, okay, and observation, okay, na gigamit. Okay, niya, the researchers chose the location, okay, of implementation because it will provide the researchers with the necessary information on the experiences. Okay, and here, imujud e. ah, yes, ang gimentioned rin nga, the research will be conducted during the second semester of the academic year. Okay, so, um, pandemic Time, good news here. Okay, pandemic time, good na yung pag-conduct ani. Nya, at the end of your research local, i-insert ninyo ang demographic map. Figure 2 siya, kay ang figure 1 ninyo, kay numdum mo sa inyo ang chapter 1, katong sa inyo ang theoretical concept. Okay, kato siya inyo figure 1. So, mo na yung figure 2, demographic map. Okay, so ang mong location. Then after which, okay, research participants. Okay, kinsaman. Nga naman sila yung muhang gipili or gipili nga participants. So here yung gimension, chain smokers located in Banila at Mandawi City were focused on this study. The basis of the selection connects with the rationale and significance of the study. Ah, okay, no? So, iya dyan gibutan diha, iya gi emphasize. Okay, to make sure that the prospective data collected is relevant and beneficial to the research study. The target participants of the research of the study are five people who will undergo questioning using the prepared questions intended for them. So, kamu ang nag-prepare sa questions. Okay, so... Sampling technique, giyon sa ninyo pagkuha. So, in this study, adapting purposive sampling of non-probability sampling technique was used. Okay, giyon sa ninyo pagpili. Okay, so, yung mong giyap ang i-explain. So, i-explain mo ang anong kani, kung saan niya ang sampling, kung saan niya ang yung mong gigamit nga purposive sampling. Okay, so, this sampling method involves the researcher using their expertise to select a sample that would best serve the researcher's objectives. Instead of making statistical inferences, the researchers want to learn more about a particular phenomenon, especially if the population is small and specific. The researchers will need more specific measures for a successful purposive study. So, see, he explained it here, he reasoned out it here, he used the first sampling technique that he used. After which, then, proceed to the research instrument. So here, iyang ang research instrument iyang gigamit kay interview. Yaya iyan ang pag-explain nga na ay schedule sa pag-interview. Okay, normally what happens, um actually na amoy letter nga pasainan sa principal, school principal o office of the mayor nga mo kandak mo nga iyalaw mo magkandak ani nga study nga mag-interview mo og tao sa Mandawi. Okay, mo adto mo 
sa katong inyong prospect nga participant, ipakita ninyo ang letter nya mo explain pud mo verbally unsa iyong tuyo nga nung nagkandak mo ning study nga how beneficial it is sa inyong study kung mo participate sila sa inyong interview so verbally yun sa silang sulti ano oh so mo na um, pag i narrate gyud ninyo the interview guide and the questions are researcher made okay so emphasize pud nga kamo nagbuhat sa questionnaire so kainom dumo sa inyong chapter 1 katong SOP uh, statement of the problem na may mga questions ngadto so didto mo base didto mo rely ang inyong ang inyong interview questions Okay, the guide questions were meticulously reviewed by the research instructor before starting the research. So, see, before mo nagpass ato, di ba, kapila to gi-check, kapila to gi-revise. Okay, the questionnaires were carefully reviewed and revised to confirm their suitability. Okay, so, ano, imura yun siya ang i-explain, imura yung i-narrate, sorry, the, the proper word is narrate. Giyunsan ninyo pag himo ang um, interview questions, giyunsan ninyo pag conduct. Okay. Then here for the next part of your uh, methodology, chapter 3, uh, data gathering procedure. Unsang nga mga procedure inyong ipang buhat. So first, okay, preliminary is the first kind an approval sheet and consent form was sent to respondents to ask permission. Okay, so muna akong giingon, mo ganina no nga maghatag mo og letter. Nya pagkuman na, so the data collection. So, primary data were obtained uh, through face-to-face -face interviews while maintaining health protocols. So, since it was 2021-2022, so, though, pwede na magkita-kita, pero, again, mm, maintaining health protocols. So, iyagya pong i-explain. Okay, iyagya pong i-narrate. Sorry, that narrate dyan ang uh, proper term. So, ano siya? More, the respondents were encouraged to provide the most accurate responses, responses possible. During the interview, recording devices were also employed for recording purposes. Um, Mananghi day mo no sa inyong um, participant nga, okay ba i video ang interview? Because there are um, participants nga, they don't feel comfortable doing so. O nga makita ilang now. So please uh, um, always entertain or allow what uh, whichever is convenient for them or comfortable. They, f they are feel comfortable. So, if may anna sila nga, um, pwede dili lang mag video. <laughs> Kaya di ko comfortable sa kong naong karoon. Wala ko yung makeup. Wala ko ng lipstick. Okay, Rajid kayo ma'am. Sige, pwede lang ma'am ka na mag record lang ta ma'am kay. Para lang po ma'am ba nga, um, pag interpret na mo sa yung mohan to ba kay, exact sa gani ma'am. Dili may masayop. Um, if makuha si mo information. So, anna, para at least mo sagot sa sila. Uh, sakto nga information yung makuha. So, mo ano yung purpose ma'am? Anong mag audio recording ng ta ma'am ha? Okay, magamit man sa naanin mo kainig. Um, suwat ni mo, interpret ni mo sa imuhang um, so, um, answer sa imuhang participants. Dili ka maglisod. Kaya naman kay audio recording. So, imo lang tong i-playback, playback. Um, o, ito yung iingon di ay. Ano man siya. Mm. So, next to that is the data analysis. So, imo gimension din no, uh, case study design, okay, and gathering data. And then, explain yung ano, uh, data analysis ka, okay, yung anong um, location, ano na yun, yeah. Um, there was a consolidation of all findings for an ex expensive explanation of the studied phenomenon. The findings of the study describe the in-depth details of chain smokers' faces of smoking cessation. So, unsa ang ilang gibuhat nga um, an data analysis. So, ilang gibutan dali. Thematic analysis is utilized to emphasize, identify, analyze, and interpret patterns generated from the responses of chain smokers. Okay, then ethical consideration. Okay, so um, dapat ng follow good sa ethical standard, no? Katong um, matayang explain kung sa nang ethical standard. So, human consent, okay, is given to each of the respondents. So, di ba na ito yung letter yung gihatag? Yeah. Aside sa letter yung gihatag, okay, it was explained to them verbally. Again, ginarate, ragyud ni mo, giunsa ni mo, pagbuhat, tanan ni mo, um, information or sa pag-process ni mo sa mo ha uh, sa pag-conduct ni mo sa mo study okay the informed consent will be given to the informants of the study yeah, then permit letter will be sent to the local government unit so see consent form will be provided to the respondents 
actually there are template uh, of the letters provided to you uh, from your uh, research instructor so para dili na kayo maglisod ana so na rate template ihatag sa inyo ha nya yeah, consent forms will be collected back okay so inyo tong kuhaon okay so di ba na magi papermahan nga consent form para if ever mo ana si participant nga wala man ko nagku ana na I, I don't think nga inanta ako kay so na mo ika present din nga ma'am mo man atong ipermahan ma'am okay ni uh, ni sugot mo nga ato uh, ni iko ano yung answer present okay ana ra then last part sa inyong um, chapter 3 kay imo hadan i insert or attach sa imong appendix okay ang questionnaire nga imong gigamit sa imo pag interview Na kay phase 1, demographic profile of your participants. Again, how, um, just include whenever necessary or a part of your um, study. Kung sa imuang study, wala na maghisgot or dilit na maghinahanglan sa marital status, so dilit rin yun na siya i-appeal yapon. Okay, naara yun na depende ra, dilit, kinahanglan, dilit necessary nga na complete na tanan. Depende ra yun kung unsa nga information ang imuang kinahanglan para maka uh, magamit sa imuhang uh, gaps okay o sa imuhang mga questions then part 2 then start na rin ka questioning about hindi um, unsan nila pagsugod nga nun ay naanis uh, dili, dili, nga nun so mga kasagaran na sa part 2 no or sa phase 2 okay uh, kano sa nagsugod so what circumstances okay so what experiences did you have so until uh, sa phase 5, 6 kay magka deep na ang inyong magkalaom na inyong pagkaisigutan sa ilang experiences. So, sayon na kay Buhaton sa chapter 3. And para mas mo sayon pa dyan inyong Buhaton, um, lead researchers, I suggest i-assign dyan ninyo kadatag sa tag sa ang inyong mga members. So, in your case, na amoy 7 to 8 members. Actually, dagan na dyan na para, para lang dyan madali ita. So, na amoy 7 to 8 members. So, mag-assign ka o isa ka member nga mo buhat sa research design. Another member, mohimo sa research local. Another member, mohibuhat sa research participant. Then, another member, mohibuhat sa research instrument. La input, ang mohibuhat sa data gathering procedure. So, data analysis. So, in that way, mas madali mohibuhat mohuman ang inyong chapter 3. Makasabit dahil yun mo on time. So, ina na siya ka simple. Ha, so, okay, that's it. I hope you learned something from this sample chapter 3. So, what are you waiting for? Go and write now your um, chapter 3 research methodology. Goodbye, thank you, and enjoy writing your chapter 3.